Hello friends, welcome to our channel Pharma Creations. Today we are going to discuss about the semester 1 syllabus and which are the university subjects and non-university subjects and what is the exact difference between university subjects and non-university subjects. So let's start with the video. This is the syllabus copy of your semester 1. If you see here, here the course code is given and the name of course. That means these are the names of subjects. Course means your subject. And subject codes or the course codes are given as BP101T. So it means that BP means Bachelor of Pharmacy. 1 means your semester 1. And 01 that is your subject number 1. And T letter is given for the theory. And if you see below, P letter is given for practical. So in this way, your course code that is subject code is given over here and these are the names of your subjects. Here BP 101T that is human anatomy and physiology 1 theory. BP 102T pharmaceutical analysis 1 theory. BP 103T pharmaceuticals 1 theory and BP 104T pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry theory. These are the four university subjects whereas bp 105 t communication skills theory and bp 106 rbt or rmt that is remedial biology or mathematics theory these are the two non-university subjects below that the list of practical subjects are given it's similar to that of theory subjects for practical also from bp 107 p to bp 110 p that is pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry practical these are the four practicals of university subjects and below that communication skill and remedial biology these are the two non-university practicals <coughs> now we will discuss the difference between university subject and non-university subject and their mark distribution so if you see here from subject bp 101t to bp 104t for these four subjects continuous mode marks are 10 sessional marks are 15 and total your internal marks are 25 that is 10 plus 15 that is 25 and your end semester examination is of 75 marks and your internal and external end semester examination marks total becomes 100 so this is the mark distribution for your university subject and now we will go for the non-university subject communication skill and remedial biology if you see the marks distribution for continuous mode marks are 5 for these two subjects and for sessional examination marks are 10 for these two subjects so 10 plus 5 becomes 15 that is internal marks for these two subjects are 15 and end semester examination is of 35 marks and total marks for these subjects are 50 50 in the similar way if you see the practical examination marks distribution for bp 107p human anatomy and physiology practical Pharmaceutical Analysis 1 Practical, Pharmaceutics Practical and Pharmaceutical Inorganic Chemistry Practical. These are the practicals of university subject for which continuous mode marks are 5 and sessional marks are 10. Total becomes 15 that is internal marks of practical subjects are 10 plus 5 becomes 15. And end semester examination of these practical subjects are 35 total becomes 50. And for non-university practical that is communication skill and remedial biology, continuous mode marks are 5, sessional examination marks are also 5 and total becomes 5 plus 5 that is 10 marks and end semester exam will be of 15 marks and total becomes 25. So in this way we have discussed about the university subject and non-university subject and their mark distribution. Now we are going to discuss about what is the exact difference between university subject and non-university subject for university subject that is from bp 101t to bp 104t the for these four subjects the end semester examination paper that is which is of 75 marks this examination is conducted by university that is dr baba Sahib medical technological university paper is set by university and checking is also done by the university Whereas for non-university subject that is communication skill and remedial biology maths the end semester examination is of 35 marks and it is conducted at institute level means your paper 
is designed by institute and also its checking is carried out at institute level only तर अशा पद्धतीने युनिव्हर्सिटी सब्जेक्ट्स जे आहेत त्याचं पेपर सेटिंग आणि पेपर चेकिंग जे आहे ती युनिव्हर्सिटी करते आणि जे नॉन युनिव्हर्सिटी सब्जेक्ट आहेत ज्यांना अस्टेरिक मार्क आहे या दोन सब्जेक्टसाठीचं पेपर सेटिंग आणि पेपर चेकिंग हे आहे जे युनिव्हर्सिटी करत नाही ते इन्स्टिट्यूट लेवलला होतं तुमच्या इन्स्टिट्यूटचे जे कोणी फॅकल्टीज असतील तुमचे जे सब्जेक्ट टीचर असतील तेच या दोन सब्जेक्टचे पेपर सेट करतात आणि चेकिंगसुद्धा इन्स्टिट्यूट लेवललाच करतात याच पद्धतीने प्रॅक्टिकलसाठी फॉर ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स प्रॅक्टिकल एक्झामिनेशन इज कंडक्टेड ॲट इन्स्टिट्यूट लेवल ओनली बट एक्सटर्नल एक्झामिनर इज अपॉइंटेड फॉर ओरल एक्झामिनेशन फॉर दीज फोर सब्जेक्ट दॅट इज ह्युमन अँटमे अँड फिजिओलॉजी फार्मास्युटिकल अनालिसिस फार्मास्युटिक्स अँड फार्मास्युटिकल इनऑर्गॅनिक केमिस्ट्री फॉर दीज फोर प्रॅक्टिकल्स एक्सटर्नल एक्झामिनर इज अपॉइंटेड बाय द युनिव्हर्सिटी वेअर ॲज फॉर कम्युनिकेशन स्किल अँड रेमिडियल बायोलॉजी प्रॅक्टिकल एक्सटर्नल इज नॉट अलॉटेड बाय द युनिव्हर्सिटी एक्सटर्नल एक्झामिनर इज ऑफ इन्स्टिट्यूट ओनली सो इन दिस वे द प्रॅक्टिकल एक्झामिनेशन्स अँड थेअरी एक्झामिनेशन्स आर कंडक्टेड फॉर युनिव्हर्सिटी सब्जेक्ट्स अँड नॉन युनिव्हर्सिटी सब्जेक्ट आय होप यू हॅव अंडरस्टूड द डिफरन्स बिट्वीन युनिव्हर्सिटी सब्जेक्ट अँड नॉन युनिव्हर्सिटी सब्जेक्ट इन द नेक्स्ट व्हिडिओ वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मार्क्स डिस्ट्रीब्युशन फॉर continuous mode marks that is whatever here 10 marks 5 marks are given how these marks are allotted and how the sessional examination is of 15 marks and 10 marks are conducted and the exact paper pattern for sessional as well as end semester examination and the passing criteria so examination pattern paper pattern and passing criteria that we are going to discuss in the next video so keep watching this channel If you have not subscribed to my channel then subscribe so you will get the notifications of all the videos and if you are having any doubt you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much